man is just a man until men declare him king. Then he becomes something else entirely. His body, mind, and soul are owned by the people and the state. Personal freedom is an extravagance reserved for the red-blooded. What lies in a man's heart before he becomes king often decides the fate of his reign. Will he be vengeful, or will he bring education, science, arts, and literature? Will he encourage his people to grow, or will he rule with an iron fist? King James IV brought to the people of Scotland what was in his heart when he was simply James Stuart. He reproved in his short reign that he was not his father. He was a man of the people. James was the eldest son of King James III of Scotland and Queen Margaret of Denmark. He was born to be a king, though it's unclear whether or not he desired to be. His father, King James III, was not loved by his people. He was involved in two major rebellions during his reign and inevitably died in battle. James then became King of Scotland at just 15 years old. He set about rebuilding Scotland, focusing on art, literature, science, and law. He secured a peace with England by marrying Margaret Tudor, the sister of King Henry VIII of England. When war broke out with England in 1512, James was tested as a commander. The following account was written by the Spanish ambassador to Scotland about James's action in the field. He is courageous, even more so than a king should be. I'm a good witness of it. I've seen him often undertake the most dangerous things in the last wars. On such occasions, he does not take the least care of himself. He does not think it right to begin with any warlike undertaking without being first in the line of danger. His deeds are as good as his words. The body of James IV was identified on the battlefield the day after the Battle of Flodden. His lower jaw pierced by an arrow and his left hand almost severed, his throat sliced, both injuries inflicted by a bill. James's body was taken to Berwick-upon-Tweed, where it was embalmed and placed in a lead coffin before being transported to London. James's blood-stained coat was sent to Henry VIII by Queen Catherine of Aragon. Though strong rumors abound that before the battle, James removed his royal clothing and dressed as a common man, as to prove that he was, as he lived, a man of the people. James was known to wear a chain around his waist. The body that the English recovered had no chain. The skeleton wearing a chain around its waist was discovered in a nearby cave to the battlefield in the 17th century. Only James knows how he died. Some even say he was swept away by four paranormal horsemen in battle. What we do know is how he lived, and his legacy speaks for itself. <laughs>